Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and today I'm going to do, oops, my left eye fell out. So, uh, today I'm going to talk about the human body. So, I have just told you, this time we are focusing on the human body again. Earlier, I made a video for beginners. Check that out too. This time, however, there will be a bit more difficult verse for language learners. We will be looking at the main body systems and the organs. We are going to learn the names of these systems and organs and other essential terms that are necessary to talk about these things. The human body is made up of multiple interacting systems. The skeletal system. The skeletal system consists of bones, ligaments and tendons. More than 200 bones give your body support and structure, hold the body together and protect organs and tissues. You have a skull, the vertebral column or spinal column, or just only backbone. The rib cage. The backbone is made up of vertebrae, and between the vertebrae you have discs. The muscular system. The muscular system allows the body to move. You have more than 600 muscles in your body. The muscles are attached to the bones, controlled by nerves that communicate with the brain. Movement takes place when a muscle gets shorter or, in other words, contracts. Most muscles work in pairs, allowing movement in more than one direction. For instance, there are two sets of muscles that move your arm. When you lift your arm up, your biceps contract. Simultaneously, the muscles on the back of your arm, called triceps, relax. The cardiovascular system. The cardiovascular system, in other words, the circulatory system, consists of your heart and blood vessels. The heart's job is to plumb blood throughout your body. It provides the cells with oxygen and nutrients and takes away the waste. The respiratory system. The respiratory system brings oxygen into the body through the lungs and windpipe. The central part of the respiratory system is the lungs. The lungs extract oxygen for the cells to use and then expel carbon dioxide when we exhale. The digestive system. Energy comes in the form of food and it is the digestive system's job to convert food into fuel. Digestion begins in our mouth with the help of teeth, the tongue and saliva. The food travels down the esophagus into the stomach where it is broken down by stomach acids. From the stomach, it goes into the small intestine. Pancreas, as well as the liver, play an important part in digestion. The small intestine removes the nutrients the body needs and sends the nutrients to the body parts through the circulatory system. Finally, the digested food is sent to the large intestine and then out of the body. The nervous system. The nervous system is responsible for controlling everything you do, including breathing, muscle movements, thinking, feeling, everything. The nervous system is made up of your brain, spinal cord and nerves in your body. The nerves carry all the messages to and from the body so the brain can interpret them and take action. The endocrine system. The endocrine system produces hormones that help regulate other systems in the body. It includes, for example, the pancreas, as I mentioned before, and the thyroid, and more. The lymphatic system. The lymphatic system works to keep body fluids level in balance and to defend the body against infections. It is made up of a network of lymphatic vessels that carry lymph, a clear, watery fluid that contains proteins, salts and other substances throughout the body. It is also called the immune system. The urinary system. The urinary system is another important regulatory system that includes the kidneys, ureters, bladder and urethra. The urinary or renal system uses the kidneys to filter the blood and eliminate waste which is expelled as urine. The reproductive system. 
everything starts with the reproductive system. This system is responsible for creating life. The reproductive system includes the sex organs that enable people to have babies. This system is different for males and females. Women have ovaries, fallopian tube, uterus and vagina, and testes, sperm channel and penis found in men. Together, fertilization can occur and the child is born nine months later. The human body is a brilliant complex system made up of more than 37 trillion cells and when the major organ systems are healthy, we simply feel fine. Thank you very much for watching this short video. In the description down below, you will find further help to learn the words in this lesson. Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already and share it on social media. Take care and see you soon.